Welcome to my podcast. Today I will be the armchair GM for the Calgary Flames and the Carolina Hurricanes. I will start with the Calgary Flames and then move on to the Carolina Hurricanes. The Calgary Flames need to re-sign two key players in Johnny Goudreau and Sean Monaghan. Both players are restricted free agents this year or this offseason. Other key players to re-sign are unrestricted goaltenders Jonas Hiller and Kari Ramo, as well as Yanni Ortio, who's a RFA, uh, Joe Coburn, who's a RFA, and Josh Joris, who is also a RFA. To make room to resign Johnny Goudreau and Sean Monahan, they need to dump Matt Stajan's terrible contract, and they need to try to trade Dennis Weidman. Dennis Weidman is now expandable because they have TJ Brody, they have um, Mark Giordano locked up long term, they have Dougie Hamilton, they have Schmidt who can be a mentor, and they need to move his big contract to get a player that's a lot less in the cap room that can do the exact same thing as him. Not that Wyman's not good, but he's taking up too much money. A player that would do just as much as Dennis Weidman is Patrick Weirkoch of the Ottawa Senators. Now, I understand that Patrick Weirkoch is not a Dennis Weidman, and he has been a healthy scratch in with the Ottawa Senators for the past year, but he's a RFA this year. And the Senators may lean towards not resigning him. So you can possibly get him for a cheaper price due to the fact he hasn't been playing as much and he has, is at no uh, position to demand an uh, outrageous contract. So you can get him for a cheaper price for exactly what Dennis Wyman would be playing. You can probably play him on the second power play unit. And Ottawa would be a good fit for Wyman because he can play the point on the first or second power play unit for him, for them. Uh, Johnny Goudreau and Sean Monaghan should be locked up long term. They cannot afford to let either one of these players walk. They are both uh, not replaceable. They need to be in Calgary for at least the next six, seven, or eight years for however long they decide to sign them long term for. Um, next is to sign a free agent goalie or try to trade for a goalie. Now the free agent goalies this year aren't exactly that good. There's either journeyman goalies or there's backup goalies, but there isn't exactly a surefire number one goalie. There's Cam Ward, but he's kind of an injury risk. So you don't really want to sign any free agent goalie this year. So there is Malcolm Subban of the Boston Bruins, who is getting lost in the shuffle of prospect goalies for the Boston Bruins. He is still their top goaltender prospect, but they have Sam McIntyre in this system. And they already have two Rask, and they can re-sign Jonas Gustafson as the backup. And... With Tuka Rask there, Malcolm Subban has no chance at becoming the number one goalie. So Boston might as well try to get something from Malcolm Subban. So it would make sense for both teams, both Calgary and Boston. Calgary gets their number one goalie or what they hope would be a number one goalie and Boston would try to get an early pick for him. 
for Sugan, uh, they would get a first round pick in 2018. And the Calgary Flames would also dump Matt Stage's outrageous contract, who would be the Chris Kelly replacement. And you get, you kill two birds with one stone. This trade is actually really similar to the David Leguan uh, contract dump uh, last year with the Senators and the Sabres. Neither Carrie Ramo and or Jonas Hiller should be brought back because if you were to trade for Malcolm Subban, then you have no use for either Hiller or Ramo. But they should bring back Yanni Ortio on a two-year deal. So you, he and Subban can tandem as co-number one goalies. And they should also bring back Jacob McCaddle and Joe Coburn on one-year deals for depth. They also need a right winger for depth or in the top six. I think Troy Brower is a great fit for a top six right winger because he has playoff experience and he would fit in the system as a grinding right winger that can play with top flight players. Because he's played with Ovechkin, he's played with uh, top players in St. Louis, so he would be a good fit. And he is especially needed now after trading away Hoodler and David Jones at the deadline. And the last thing on the list is calling up Hunter Shinkerbuck full time for a top six role. All right, so after all is said and done, the Flames would have added Troy Brower from free agency, Malcolm Subban by a trade from the Bruins, and Hunter Shinkrook from the system. And they will lose Dennis Weidman from trade, trade trading his contract, Matt Stajan from trading his contract, Jonas Hiller to free agency, Kari Rama to free agency, and Nicholas Backstrom to either retirement or free agency. So this is how the Calgary Flames roster would look like in this armchair GM. The first line would be Johnny Goudreau, Sean Monahan, and Michael Froley. The second line would be Hunter Shinkarok, Sam Bennett, and Troy Brower. The third line would be Lance Bowman, Michael Backlund, and Josh Joris. The fourth line would be Brandon Bullock, Joel Coburn, and Michael Furlan. The, now the defense would be Joe, TJ Brody and Dougie Hamilton as the first pair. Second pair would be Mark Giordano and Patrick Weirkoch from a piece that was brought over as part of the Dennis Wyden trade. And Gladys Stas Mead and Dark Key Yoko Paka, who was part of the Chris Russell trade at the trade deadline last spring. And Jacob Nakato will be the seventh defenseman. The goalies would be Malcolm Subban and Johnny Yorkio. So that's the armchair GM for the Calgary Flames. Flames sorry. Now moving on to the Carolina Hurricanes. The Carolina Hurricanes are a rebuilding team. It will be a long process, and it will be a long year next year. They aren't going to go out and resign any big free agent per se, but they will still need to make some acquisitions and some roster moves. But the majority of them would be resigning some key RFAs. Uh, among those are... Victor Rask and Ryan Murphy. They also have some art UFAs to resign. Those players are Nathan Gerby, Riley Nash, Chris Cherry, 
Brad Malone, and Cam Ward. The first order of priority is to re-sign Victor Rask, who has emerged as a major part of the team. I would re-sign him to a two-year deal because, he, yes, he's had a great uh, season this year, but to ensure that he is really as good as he has been the second half of the season, you sign up to a two-year bridge contract to ensure that. And then re-sign Riley Nash and Ryan Murphy to one-year deals. You also re-sign Jokey Nordstrom and Michael Do- Michael Jordan to one-year deals. Having to part ways with Cam Ward is probably the toughest decision the Hurricanes would have to make. However, unfortunately, he is no longer worth what he was making, and it is time to hand over the job to Eddie Lack. They will have to break up, bring up Brock McGinn and Sergei Tolchensky for top six roles or for full-time roles on the team. And last is to sign up, sign a backup goalie with the departure of Cam Ward. A good addition would be Jeff Sackoff. So after all said and done, the Carolina Hurricanes would have added Jeff Sackhoff and they would have left. They would lose Nathan Gerby to free agency because I have a feeling Nathan Gerby would sign somewhere else, possibly a contender. Chris Terry, probably a contending team as well. And Cam Ward for a chance to win a cup somewhere else. And this is how the Carolina Hurricanes roster will look after the changes in the armchair GM. The first line will be Sergei Tolchensky, Jordan Stahl, and Elias Lindholm. The, fo- the second line would be Jeff Skinner, Victor Rask, and Phil Giuseppe. The third line would be Brock McGinn, Riley Nash, and Andre Nestorsol. The fourth line would be Joe Hugh Nordstrom, Jay McClement, and Brad Malone, who was re-signed on a one-year deal, by the way. Um, the defensemen would be on the first pair, Justin Falk and Ron Hazley, who had been the first pair this, this year. Noah Hannafin and Brett Petsky as a second pair. And Mikhail Jordan and Jacob, Jacob Slavin as the third pair. And Ryan Murphy would be the seventh defenseman. The, the Carolina Hurricanes defense is the best part of the team. They are young and they are going to get better and better as they mature. And the defense, uh, sorry, the goaltenders would be Eddie Lack and Jeff Sackhoff. So that's the Carolina Hurricanes armchair GM. So in this episode, I did the Carolina Hurricanes as well as the Calgary Flames armchair GM. Next episode, I'll be doing the Colorado Avalanche and Chicago Blackhawks armchair GM.